Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I am doing some decluttering slash organizing, um, a little bit of both. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna find as I tackle these areas. So the goal is to just declutter anything that I can and then to organize the space. So um, it's a Saturday and so Aaron's home. He has weekends off um, right now. He took Ember and the baby is home with me. She just turned one, so I guess she's not really a baby anymore, but she is napping right now. So I have time to myself. I am downstairs. So I thought I would kind of take you along with me um, this time. So here we go. So I got Ivy on the baby monitor here. She is napping away. I have no idea how much time I have because she's been sleeping for a little while, maybe like an hour. So uh, we'll see how much I can get done. I'm just gonna kind of show you um, this little like plan list that I've made. <laughs> if you haven't been able to tell by now from watching my videos, I am a list maker. So I just made a list of all of those areas that are really cluttered, that are bugging me, that I still need to do. So right now, I think I'm gonna start with the closet in this guest bedroom here. And I guesstimated it would probably only take 30 minutes. There's obviously, honestly not that much in there. So I'm gonna tackle the guest bedroom closet right now, and then we'll see where we're at after that. So I'm pretty sure, so I have four sets of curtains here, and I'm only gonna keep two of them. Now it's important to know, like I'm going for a bit of an extreme in terms of minimalism. I, um, in my head, just have dreams of living in a teeny tiny cabin with like nothing in it. <laughs> Uh, my husband's not quite on the same page with me in that sense, but I tend to be very minimalist. I don't want a lot of stuff. I don't like too much stuff. So anyways, so I think these are the ones I'm gonna get rid of. And But I've noticed though, so subconsciously, the reason why I'm keeping the ones I'm keeping is because I've put work into these. Like for instance, these ones, they used to be a lot longer, but I hemmed them and made them shorter myself. And then these ones used to be in the baby's room or the girl's room at our other place. And um, I sewed old black sheets to the backside so it could block the light out. So it's kind of like one of those things where when you put work into something, it means more to you versus like ones that you just bought or whatever. So the ones I'm gonna keep are the ones that like I put time and effort into to make them what we wanted them to be. So I'll keep a couple just because it's nice to have, but I don't think I need all four, so I'm gonna get rid of the other two. So, stuff like this is what really stumps me. So, <laughs> this bed set, we registered for this for our wedding. It's a California King size. When we got married, you know, we had these big hopes and dreams and thinking, oh, someday we'll have a California King bed. So we'll register for the California King bed set, but you know, we're almost four years into it and we still haven't used this. It's literally never been out of the plastic, but I don't know. Maybe I think we should just keep it. I mean, I would never just donate it. I think we'll keep this just as kind of, uh, I don't know, aspirations, if you will, or something like that. And it's in a nice, you know, packaged um, setup, so it doesn't really bother me that much. We'll hang on to this. So I guess a good rule of thumb for me, or what I kind of think as far as like bedding, is to just have two sets per bed in the house. Maybe not even that much, but for sure for the ones that are getting used all the time, like our bed and our kids' beds. I think we should have at least two sets for each of those, and then maybe like one set for each guest bed. So we have four sets of sheets for this full bed right here. And this is the only full size bed in the house. So four, that's kind of ridiculous. I think, mm, man, decluttering is hard. It is really hard because you, you know, pick things up and you know you can live without them, but your brain will come up with every single reason as to why you should keep it. And it is a battle, it is a struggle. Um, 
man. So here's my dilemma with this with this uh, full size bed in the guest room. So I have. Let me flip the camera here. Okay, these are not part of the story for now. Okay, so this is one set of full sheets that happens to match. I bought it like at Walmart as a full like comforter set, like one of those bed in the bag situations. So it matches. I have the full set. Um, that is like something that would make me want to keep it. We have two sets of sheets here that came from Aaron's grandma. So of course those are ones I want to keep. And then we have this set that's actually on the bed right now. It just ended up being the one I put on at the time. I don't know. No real sentimental value to it. It's just, it's a good quality sheet. Um, so that makes me not want to get rid of it either. So that's my dilemma. But four sets of sheets for this one bed. Like that's, that's madness, right? Yes, you just witnessed me folding up the entire bed set, putting it in the bag because I was ready to part with it, and then taking it out and putting it back on the bed. Oh, man. Final decision. I'm going to keep all four of the sheet sets for this bed. I happen to like the way this one is looking right now in this room. But I do like to change things up a bit, so when I feel like changing it, I'll have more options. And I just can't find any good reason to get rid of any of the sheets. I like them all. They're in good condition. A couple of them, um, you know, happen to have more like sentimental value. Um, this one, it's got the matchy-matchy thing going on. <laughs> and the other one, it's really good quality sheets. So. I'm just gonna let myself keep them. Do I think four sets of sheets is too much for any one given bed? Yeah, I do. I don't need that many sheets. But, you know, if I, if I like the sheets, then yes. I'm just gonna keep them. I'm gonna shut this because it's really getting warm in here. So I've got these three um, like laundry bags that we had um, for when we first moved to New York and we did not have a washer and dryer. What I would do is um, load all of our laundry into the stroller. I would strap Ember on my back and I would walk blocks down to the coin operated and do the laundry down there. Sometimes I would go back and forth, but I had a baby on my back and piles of laundry in the stroller. We got these laundry bags for that purpose to make it easier for me to do laundry at the time. And honestly, we haven't used them since, but for some reason I keep hanging on to them. But now I'm like talking about it and all of a sudden getting weirdly attached to these. Like, you know, remember those days or whatever, but I know I don't need to hold on to these bags to keep those memories. That is something I will never forget. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of these bags. We haven't used them in years. We don't need them anymore. I have these two king-size pillowcases, but we don't have a king-size bed or king-size pillows. Don't see us getting one anytime soon. We don't need these, so I'm gonna get rid of them. So you've probably seen by now floating around Pinterest or on like Facebook or whatever this like household 
hack that you can put your sheet sets inside of the corresponding pillowcase for like ease of storage. Um, and I've honestly never tried it until now, but I thought I would give it a whirl. But honestly, I don't really like how it looks. It just kind of looks pretty, it looks kind of sloppy to me, just like a big blob. And like I kind of, I folded the case around it. So it doesn't look like it did on Pinterest. So I couldn't make this work. I don't really like it. I think it looks neater just to fold them nicely and stack. All right. All right, so all done in here. Basically, like I said, it wasn't even bad before. Um, so up here are, those are those curtains that I'm keeping and then sheet sets. And then just our suitcases. Uh, it's kind of dark. This is what I am donating. So like I said, not much, but this closet wasn't that bad to begin with. So just some things that we don't need. It doesn't look like much, but if you think about it over time, if you get rid of, you know, just little piles of stuff here and there, that's like one less thing that you have to carry around with you. And it is a process, but over time it all adds up and it does make a difference. So for this closet in this room, I had estimated it was gonna take about 30 minutes and it took just under an hour but I know that's only because I was making a video and doing a lot of talking maybe I'm surprised she's still sleeping I'm really thrilled Erin and Ember are not back yet so um, I'm probably just gonna go I don't know do the dishes or something <laughs> when I break it down like this into like hours and how long I think each thing will actually take um, I often find that it's not really as bad as I think it's gonna be um, and it does help me to plan better. If Aaron's home, I can be like, okay, I just need one hour to go get this one spot done and then I'll just focus on that instead of just like wandering aimlessly and doing whatever. I have a plan and it's much more efficient this way. If you would like to continue following along with me on um, my pursuit of minimalism and a more simplistic lifestyle, a more simple home, um, definitely subscribe to my channel. Uh, give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Feel free to share with family and friends. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and decluttering my closet with me and I will see you in the next one. Bye!